Okay, you were gonna be doing this, but apparently you get a free key camera. It's got five free primos. I messed with my uh, OBS settings a bit, and hopefully the video looks good. This has been a while since I changed it. We also changed my Genshin settings, so they should be the highest that it allows me. This is the summer event for the scene. apparently my game was running off my CPU and uh, OPS was also recording on it so I changed it so that you know my GPU also uses some work <laughs> and oh my god look at how smooth it is yeah, I knew it was something with my settings like my PC isn't that bad well, it's not a PC, it's a laptop, but you know. Hmm. Got some ops down there. This place is sick. Forget Firecracker. I'm just not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. <laughs> you still remember why we call you Stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. <laughs> you said it too, right? Five months not seeing things, is she? <laughs> this place is getting more confusing by the second. Anyway, uh, why don't we go after those two frogs? They didn't look evil or anything. Plus, they might be able to help us out. <laughs> Yes, so from now on, before all the videos were recorded at 72060. So now they're 108060. And it lies less than before, which is amazing. So that means 
Got a viewing experience. Let's go. Are those supposed to be my wishes? Oh, five star! Yo! <laughs> Genshin looks so nice whenever you're playing on the highest setting. I play on the highest setting on my phone, but it's just not the same as PC. It really isn't. Catching up to those frogs. They were so fast. Paimon couldn't even tell where they hopped off to in the end. Uh, excuse me, honored travelers. Did you come from the Cliff of Prophecy, perchance? <laughs> the, the chubby paper hamster just talked. Chubby? Who are you calling chubby? I've just got a slightly thicker layer of paper on me, that's all. <clears throat> uh, allow me to uh, introduce myself. <laughs> uh, my name is Armand, and I'm an elder of the you. Forest of Blessings. Uh, I've been waiting here for the Hero of Prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch Paimon just to make sure she's not still dreaming? <laughs> oh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. <laughs> Need a minute to collect ourselves? Okay, let's think things through. <laughs> we know for sure this isn't the world we're familiar with. The talking paper animals and all the paper trees and plants make that pretty clear. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. That is what the prophecy says. <laughs> Deary me, I, I completely forgot to introduce you to this world, didn't I? Oh, and here I am, getting all excited by the arrival of the hero. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, this old brain. I love this guy's voice. <laughs> shell and no nut. Oh, well, perhaps my once glossy paper has faded past the point of no return. It's okay, really. You can just tell us all about this world now. Oh, let me think. Hmm, where, where should I even begin? Pretty much forgotten everything that happened in the past. Uh, right. Uh, I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as follows. Uh, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. The goddess of creation, who presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Her powers also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy, with dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Even to this day, her, her statue still stands tall at the highest point of Constellation Metropole. The final goddess was the Goddess of Fate, she who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate, and showed us the meaning of death and hope. Wow! They all seem super impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Of course. The all new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the goddess of prophecy's numerous oracles. After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the goddess of fate about their most cherished dream. Uh, at least that's how it used to be. Uh, how it used to be? Did something bad happen? It's our job. Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, yes this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget the day the evil dragon descended upon our forest. The paper dragon. from the skies in an ominous mist and ravaged our homeland. It 
these gigantic footprints can still be seen in the kingdom of breezes and bells. We are incredibly fortunate that no one was hurt. Terror doesn't stop there, I'm afraid. Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because a tavern closed? If we were talking about Mondstadt here, Paima might understand, but... Is it all that serious? Good. Goddess of creation above. <laughs> Take even the greatest flood over the closure of the tavern. Wet paper will dry out with time. Fallen trees can be restored. But the calligraphy tavern is the only source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures in the forest. M magic what? You heard him. Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. A, a special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. Well, <laughs> our bodies will gradually crumple and become brittle until they eventually disintegrate entirely. Our colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until we can't even remember our own names. Does that mean you've already... Oh, I'm afraid so. The color has all but completely faded from my paper. To be honest, all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the Hero of Prophecy. But I've already forgotten who gave me that order to begin with. Damn. We've got to ask that! How can we help? Oh, brave pixie. May the goddess of fate reward you and your friend for your kindness. Could it be you're the heroes I've been waiting for all along? I'm not sure how we know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here. Yeah, I, I got teleported here. <laughs> well, uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old Armand Brain here. <laughs> the prophecy never mentioned anything like that. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the Hut of Blessings? Our forest fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Oh, a forest fairy? Like one that knows magic? Oh, you betcha. She's prophesied to join the hero on their journey. Well, then she sounds like exactly the kind of person we need. Please lead the way, Grandpa Almond. Oh, yeah. We need to cop that teleporter. Uh, that meadow over there looks pretty strange. Uh, that's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. Oh, we get some lilies here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> I, I still don't know the context for this. Okay, so we have to go up there. Let me grab these lilies first. Those are hard to come by. Let's see what's up here. Uh -huh. I think this is a puzzle we have to do later. Right. Uh, this is the place. If you could just wait a moment, the fairy should be. Should be. Paimon! <gasps> Paimon knows that voice! Calm down, ma'am. Calm down. Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry. So, Milo is the forest fairy? Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. A 
to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. It's the weirdest thing. I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar, and then I guess I must have fallen asleep at some point because, well, then I woke up dressed like this. And in my dream, someone spoke to me. They said, you are the fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Now go, save the forest with your magic. At first, I thought this whole world was mm -hmm. just part of the dream. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to wake up. I couldn't find anyone I knew from the real world either. Sounds similar to what happened with us. We also have no idea how we got here. Can I just walk here? Anyway, sorry for my reaction back there. I got a bit too excited when I saw you two. It's okay, we totally understand. We were looking for a way out too. The shippers are going crazy with this one. Oh, blessed be the goddess of Aether's Arum grows once more. Fairy of the forest. Grandpa Omond, thank you so much for bringing my friends here. Could you let the others know I'm coming? I'll head over right away. Uh, of course, leave it to me. Hey ho, pistachio. <laughs> Today truly is a blessed day. Bless this man. Wow, Nilu. Looks like you made short work of getting to know the locals. Well, when I arrived here yesterday, Grandpa Omen told me all about the state of this world. Since they think of me as their forest fairy, I just felt like I had to try to help them. Oh, so you mean like using some kind of forest magic to repair <laughs> the Unfortunately, I don't know how to use the magic of this world. I've tried using my vision, but it doesn't seem to work here. If the books are anything to go by, this seems to be the place where the goddess of creation first made the townspeople of this forest. She folded the pages of books into small origami animals, gave them life with her magic, and with time, that's how the forest of blessings took shape. Hmm. Maybe one of the books here could teach us how to use magic. I read them all, but only found one reference to magic. The incantation, Abracadabra, means to <laughs> what you say. This is a world made up of words where fantastical powers can be wielded by all. Okay, so basically everyone in this world can use magic? That's nice! But still kind of vague. Yeah, from the other books I read, it seems like this goddess really likes to play fast and loose with the details. So, what should we do now? Um, didn't you say you were going somewhere, Nilu? Oh, yes. I was going to help some of the other residents of the forest. They've been busy making preparations to reopen the tavern, so I thought I could help out. Got it! Guess we should just focus on what we can do for now. This whole thing is making me pretty nervous, actually. It's like I've been pushed on stage without being taught the choreography. Since <laughs> I'm already wearing the costume, though, I might as well try to play the part. It's what a professional dancer would do. And who knows? Maybe I'll find my own magic along the way. All I can do is try, right? At least you're optimistic. Thank you. Then let's go. It's game day. Oh boy. Get this artwork so cute. Nice. Got the game. So Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Hmm. Need me to come up with some for you? Hmm. Frog. Hello.
Well, that was the world CC's quest. But we get to play a little mini game now. So that's neat. Let's see, we have five coins. The slot machine! Oh! Is that good? I don't know. Yo! How do I place it here? Oh, let's go. The king, my goat. Hell yeah. I might get more of those things. So you obtained from the event. What's this? Oh, I get to see all of them. There's no way I got the epic to your first try. That's crazy. There's something above me. Let's see here. I don't know, it's on the map, but I don't know if you guys see it. It's like the little paper thing. I don't know how to access that. Here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's like the, like the oculi of this world. Hmm. We gotta cop that. Eee. Alright, so where to next? So oh, we're 200 meters from us. Look, the forest fairy is here, and she brought her companions. Grandpa Almond was right, they do look promising. <laughs> I don't know about that. We don't know what we're doing here. I heard you were working on the piping for the calligraphy <laughs> tavern. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, we wouldn't dream of troubling you with our petty problems, my lady. Don't you worry. We have it all under control. I believe it. Hi, you sure about that? Because from where Paimon's floating, the piping is looking pretty good. Yeah, dramatic. that's fine. Yes, we have my careless friend to thank for that. He promised we could leave the pipe connecting to him, and, well, the results speak for themselves. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to inspect each pipe. This is the network the magic tonic has to flow through. I was just trying to be thorough. So I uh, I disassembled the whole thing. Peace. And now you've forgotten how to put the thing back together. <sighs> Have you been eating too many nuts again? Because you are what you eat. Please don't fight. Damn. I know everyone wants the tavern to reopen as soon as possible so that the horse can be <laughs> So why don't you let us help out? Yeah, we're here anyway, so we might as well be helpful. We just need to reassemble these pipes, right? Oh, well, shouldn't be too. Offering, shouldn't be too bad. Pipes need to be connected properly to allow the magic tonic to flow through. If you put the wrong pipe in the wrong place, the tonic will get stuck halfway. Attention to detail is key. Says the guy who messed up the whole thing in the first place. <laughs> The shade is crazy. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. So let's see here. Um, that wouldn't work right now. We would have to change it later. Let's change this one real quick. Okay, so it flows from here. Comes down. And it drops into here. And how do we turn it on? There you go. And then we turn it halfway through. There we go. We're crazy. Boom. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, amazing! You did it. Yeah, tonic will flow into everyone's cups without getting stuck, right? Oh, gotta say though, Paimon is starting to get pretty curious about this magic tonic. <laughs> um, could she have a teeny tiny sip? Just a little taste, please. You're gonna turn into paper. It's not greed. It's curiosity. 
pretty. <laughs> if it's really just one sip, I guess that would be fine. Just don't fall for it. This is one of the last cups left in the entire forest. We're supposed to save it for our research. Just a sip, promise. Okay, here goes. The chug jug. Legend says is true? The goddess of fate used ink to compose her stories on paper, and the goddess of creation used her power to bring those tales to life. Mm. No wonder the tavern is so important to the forest. Maybe the fading disorder occurs when the ink within the body dries up. That would explain why the beings here are forgetting their own stories. Mm. I'm not really sure I can really wrap my head around this conversation, but there's no need to get all worked up on our behalf, my lady. With the pipe installed, I'm sure the tavern will be up and running in no time. Uh, what do you mean, can't wrap your head around it? The fairy is recounting the story of how the goddesses gave us life. In fact, I've seen the goddess of creation with my own eyes. Um. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way you're old enough to have met her. We're the same age, and I think I would know considering we went to tell our wishes to the goddess of fate together. So stop talking a load of paper mache. Oh, fine. It was my grandfather, all right? He was the one that saw her. He saw I knew it was Cap. Day after he finished work, he saw the goddess of creation grant us life with his own eyes. In her hands, she held the very paper used to form our bodies. She whispered something into the pages, and then suddenly a paper frog was born. Yo. Into the world. Oh, it was spectacular. Ugh, cut the theatrics, will you? You weren't even there. Wait, so that's it? Paimon thought creation magic would have a little bit more pizzazz. Oh. So, in your world, the creation of life is a much showier affair? Huh, I'm learning something new every day. Um, w well, that's not exactly what Paimon was trying to say. Magic doesn't have to be spectacular. That's enough out of you. All your boasting is confusing our kind fairy. Oh, no, it's all right. I actually think... I understand the magic of this world a bit better now. Thank you. The honor was all ours, milady. Sim. Paimon, we should make our way to the next location. <laughs> A chest full of valuables. I still don't know what these excerpts are for. Where are they? I don't think they show up here. Do they show up in questions? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what these things are for. Let's go down now. <laughs> Should probably visit these guys first. We need to cop that. I know these things are going to be valuable later. Hmm. Interesting. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Watch this bank shot. The money shot. Ooh. Shit. <laughs> How is that missing? Come on, bro. Get closer. Maybe a little higher. 
something like this. Feels rough. Okay, we got to that. Maybe if we go like this. Oh, it just highlights. Literally highlights. Oh, there you go. Go back. Damn it. There you go. Crazy. What is this? Interesting. Okay, I see. I understand now. It. It's difficult because the hitbox is so tiny. Or I am just bad. That's also another option. Crazy. I like that. That's pretty cool. Easy money. Do you have another one of those paper thingies? So do you have another teleporter nearby? No. It's definitely chest back here. Yeah. What is this? Oh. That's what it is. Hello. Yo, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta teach me how to do that. See, the, the glider we have isn't as cool as flying like that. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. We got a time trial right here. God, it's such a satisfying place. So confused. Okay. I'm assuming this is the end. But where do I go? Come on. There you go. Am I supposed to go over here, maybe? Oh, okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Did we miss any? I don't think so. Oops. No! No, it's taking forever! No! I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. Oh, shit. Please, make it in time. 
I think we did. Oh, thank God. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. Some of your berries. We gotta get the berries back. <laughs> Come on, little guys. Oh, the yeah, I've spotted. They should have made origami. Um, origami ops. Where the music goes, it's gone. It's lost media. Oh boy, there's a lot of ops. Okay, let's wait for those guys. Come on, little guys. Look at them marching along. They would make good friends with my ocean in. Hello guys. This is Fontaine music. Are we in Fontaine right now? Oh, these are the berries. Oh yeah. Please return the berries. Did that side fell on near the river? Okay. I can do that. Damn. I have two weeks to explore all of this and 100% it because I don't know if it's coming back. Incredible. Yo. <laughs> Back to the mission at hand. Right. I don't even know where he flew to. Right here, maybe? There's a quest up here. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. The border. Wait, I got you from the gotcha machine earlier. Got the princess of the flying squirrels. <laughs> Look at them praying. Dude, that's me after losing seven fifty fifties. Spare me. Someone's eager to see us do the trial. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, she flew down here. I do want to pick up these little things first. I don't know where they're at. It says uh, right here. Maybe it's above me. I don't see anything. I don't know. So, oh, we're shooting her. Go. This event is so cool. Kind of sucks that this area is only available during the duration of the event. But at the same time, they gave us 40 days to do it. But it still sucks either way that it's limited time, you know. I don't like the archipelago. Everyone loved that, but you know, we don't get to play it right now. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm dying. <laughs> Alright, come here. Oop. Nice. Office. <laughs> Are we not supposed to be here or do we continue? Maybe we have to get back to it. See if there's another way we can go. Don't see anything. Right, blind. All right, so it clearly wants us to go in here. Okay. I don't know how. Oh. Okay. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's... With something in the water? No. Okay. It might have to do something with this. Dude. Oh no, we have to go all the way back there. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, no! Uh, brother. So, this may or may not be it. Hmm. Oh, what the? Okay. Interesting. So this one isn't on. I'm assuming we need to turn it on somehow. Oh, okay. There you go. Now we can go. There you go. Okay, that makes more sense. I didn't know it respawned, bro. There you go. Incredible. Now will it let me go through? No. The, the answer is no. <laughs> alright, alright. I wonder where we go now. It wants us to go up here. Hmm. No idea. Alright. There it is. And I knew that it was on top of here. Maybe that. This place is so dope. I keep hiding these things in like the most obscure places. Luckily they're all fairly close to one another so I don't have to go out of my way to get them except for the one on top. There you go. There's a top water there. So might as well grab it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, brother. Okay. Bro, come on. It moves. 
is this not fair? Get him, tiger. I'm gonna watch this. Big shot. Damn. It's just a shoot it from like up here. Something like that. Maybe we need to hit one of these. Not sure. These are kind of just on the ground, so I don't think we're supposed to hit them. It's just these, I think. I think it matters if we miss because we could just go back. Alright, I found I found the money shot. We're about to go crazy. Hmm. Okay, that's one. That's two. Goons. Oh my god. Okay, there's a lot of them. Oh my god. This guy is hydro, but I don't care. We're gonna hit him with hydro. Crazy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. When did you guys get here? has been saved. It's just so easy.
Let's go, baby. Hey. Take them. I have no need. Dude, we're getting paid. Watch this epic roll. I'm gonna get the alarm. Crazy. Watch this. Two rolls right here. Okay, well. You know, going for two Yolans is a little much, so this one's gonna be here. Okay, well, uh, that was just a bug in the system. Sorry. Okay, good. Alright. Okay. Hello, guys. Is there a friendly, right? Oh, you're an op too. I see. <laughs> Yum. Look at all that. A loop. Yeah, baby. Things are going a little too smoothly today. That's what I'm saying. What's this? You move and shoot various targets. Dear God. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Oh boy. I see. Where's an op? Boom. You have a stamp on Peter. Oh my god. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. Oh, okay, we're more than chilling. Oh, more gambling currency. Yes. Yes. For you, take your drops though. I don't know how much sooner it drops.
I still don't know where to redeem this thing. We have another one up ahead. Hello guys, we're here to help. Bum. I don't think they'd like that. Citrus, please tell me you're joking. We can't have you out of commission with the tavern about to reopen. I'm sorry, Grandpa Almond. It's the truth. I was just too excited for the reopening and must have fallen asleep in an awkward position. <laughs> Nuts on high. You could not have come at a better time. Uh, please allow me to introduce you. Uh, this is the bartender of the Calligraphy Tavern, Miss Citrus. Come on. Uh, Miss Citrus is supposed to add all kinds of delicious fruits to the magic tonic. Her additions are what turn it into the finest brew in the land. She's indispensable to the operation of the tavern. I appreciate the kind words, Grandpa Almond, but... Ah, uh, my neck. Are you alright? Ah, uh, terrible timing. Getting a kink in my neck at a time like this? Could you give my tail a little twist? That should help for the movement in my neck. I would do it myself, but I can't reach my own, and Grandpa Almond is too old and as light as a feather. The neck and tail are connected? Of course they're connected. Just like how you can't have a rainbow without rain. Anyway, you just need to position me at the right height to pick the fruits. And then, put them in the barrel over there. Oh boy. Okay. Come on, poke your head up more. This doesn't seem quite right. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. Interesting little mini game. Perfect. <sighs> My neck feels much better. So there really is some kind of connection between your neck and tail. Thank yes, you me. so much, everyone. I can rest easy Three now. More on the, the floor. At the tavern will be just as wonderful as before. That's another problem solved. We did it, Reddit. Let's go. We've got one final stop. Let's go. But first, I want to get that. The little feather thing. Keeps showing up on my map. You. You little bugger. Get over here. Hmm. Mm. I could use a teleporter, but I wanna see. So. The thing spawned and instantly died. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah, what he said. Chest full of valuables. <laughs> a trove of potential clues. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
lady. Oh, it's a, okay. It's here now I'm using teleport. I'm good. I'm copying the teleport in your body. Okay. Easy. something look at that you have so many things so then, did we get the freaky RL? not yet doesn't even matter if the tavern reopens. <laughs> the band's not even going to get any gigs. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, hello there. I hope you aren't interrupting your rehearsal. Wait, these are the two frogs we saw on the road a little while ago. Oh, the forest fairy is here. For the love of lotus leaves and dewdrop stream, you've really got to put in some effort now. But I... Oh, don't pressure yourselves on my account. Are you rehearsing for a show? Yes. <laughs> you see, our group regularly performs for guests at the tavern. We've been out of work for quite some time, with the closure and all. But after hearing of the fairy's arrival yesterday, we figured we needed to get in performance shape right away. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Back at the Grand Bazaar? Zubair Theater's always busy with rehearsals, too. He, yeah, he does not know. Do people there sing on lotus leaves as well? Yeah, they do. And it's a really big one. You're the conductor of your group, aren't you? You remind me of Mr. Zubair. Ah, then he must no. be an ambitious director. One who would do anything to avoid disappointing a single member of the audience. <laughs> It's just. Hmm. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, to help he's losing his color. Oh no no, my problems are mine and mine alone. It's just after the tavern closed, I somehow forgot how to sing. I'm always a few beats behind everyone else. I keep singing out of key. You were on trump card, now a best singer by a mile. I know, I know, but. <sighs> So he is a victim of the fading disorder, too? Don't be sad, Mr. Stream. Whenever I've forgotten important dance steps in the past, my friends at the Grand Bazaar always stick by my side to encourage me. They smile and patiently tell me everything's going to be okay. Then they play the melody for me over and over until the steps finally come back to me. Now it's our turn to help you. We just need to help you remember how to sing, right? The Traveler's got a great sense of rhythm. We can help keep you in time. Well, what you say, Stream? I think it's a great idea. Just focus on the lyrics, and the fairy's friends will help you stay on beat. Are... are you sure? This is really asking a lot. Don't worry about it, Mr. Stream. 
It'll all be worth it when the tavern reopens and we finally have the chance to hear your marvelous singing voice. All right, then. Thank you so much, everyone. I I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> I'm so confused. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it again. <coughs> Goddess is above. This better stick when it comes to the performance. Just do it exactly like how we rehearsed. Thank you, everyone. Thanks to you, my voice is once again as clear as a flowing stream. Yeah. Glad to hear that you're feeling better, Mr. Stream. It's also about time for us to go to our next destination. Mm-hmm. We'll be looking forward to your performance at the tavern. Mm. Easy money. One's update there at the tavern, eh? First, I'm gonna see what this is about. Take it easy. Epic. Easy money. We got a whole two primos for that. Let's go. How do I grab this? I have to play something? Hmm. There's another thing here. It's a part of a puzzle that I need to get the frogs there. Oh, I just ran out of stamina. <laughs> okay, so I can't just choose it. Thank you. 
the flashes for me. Chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. <laughs> Here. Otherwise, why would they give us this? Thing? <coughs> there it is. magic of this world we don't even know why the tavern closed in the first place <sighs> oh what about the method that one hamster mentioned you should try it Nilu. you mean the creation magic his grandfather saw outside the hut of blessings hmm i wonder how exactly did the goddess of creation give them life maybe you don't need to understand it just give it a try Everyone here calls you the forest fairy. Maybe you have the magic powers already and you just don't know it. In other words, this forest is a stage. And all I need to do is step out into the spotlight? <laughs> Sounds just like a fairy tale. Well, we are surrounded by talking origami animals and magic potions after all. Almost seems like anything's possible in this place. You're right, Paimon. We won't know anything unless we try. In that case, let's see. This is how you do it, right? I think I got the folds right. Oh, your origami skills are great! I once saw one of our prop people making something similar. It looked really cool, so I took some time during my break to learn the basics. It's not a bad way to stave off sleepiness, either. Well, how do you feel? Sense any, uh... Magical powers flowing through you? Mm. No. No? Hmm... What are we missing? Magic words? But how am I supposed to know what the goddess said to bring them to life? Oh, good point! You're the forest fairy, Nilu! What do you want to say to the new resident of your domain? <laughs> I bestow upon you the blessings of the forest and offer you a home in this land. Your name shall be Harisara. May you bloom in this world as beautifully as the flower I love. <sighs> My name is Arisara. It worked. It actually worked. Well, peel my shell and call me a nut. <laughs> I never imagined I'd witness such a miracle at my age. <laughs> it's just like what the story said about the goddess of creation. Shell? Miracle? Nice to meet you, Padisara. I'm Nilu, the fairy of this forest. From this day forward, this place is now your home. Hello, fairy Nilu. I hope you'll grow up happily in this forest. 
grow up. <laughs> oh, you can leave the little one with old Harmon for now. Oh, uh, this sure brings back memories. <laughs> it's been such a long time since we last held a welcome ceremony. Here, Padisara. Hmm. Uh, come to Grandpa Armand. Well, now that Milo has mastered the goddess's magic, we should be able to reopen the tavern, right? Hmm. Grandpa Armand, could you send a few people to check the underground space beneath the tavern? Oh, of course. Uh, may I ask why? The moment I used magic, I sensed something strange down there. I have a feeling it's connected to why the tavern had to close down. Uh, of course. Look into it right away. Make sure you listen to Grandpa Omen, Potty Sara. Don't go running off on your own. Potty Sara. Listen. Running! Bruh. Hey, come back here, you! Wait! Yep, that's Nilo's creation, all right! So much energy. Anyway, how did you manage it, Nilu? Well, all I did was say my wishes for her out loud. Maybe the magic is in the words themselves, just like the book said. This place is seeming more like a fairy tale by the second. I mean, or some are called the Forest of Blessings, so it kind of makes sense. Well, anyway, Paimon thinks this magic suits you perfectly, Nilu. <laughs> when I brought Potty Sara to life just now, I was able to sense the magic flowing through the forest, in the flowers and trees, and inside the creatures that live here. But for some reason, there's a hollowed out space beneath the tavern where I couldn't sense anything at all. Yes, my lady. That was fast. You were right. There was something under the tavern that I've never seen before. It looks transparent and gave off a clinking sound when I knocked on it. Transparent? Clinking? Oh! I Bro. Uh, already? <laughs> You've got to use fairy tale logic, Paimon. That's right. An empty ink bottle, to be exact. Still remember the taste of the magic tonic you took a sip of, Paimon? Yeah, it was ink. Oh, Paimon gets it now! Traveler, Paimon, will you come gather some ingredients with me? I learned what we need to make the magic tonic back in the Hut of Blessings. Sure thing! What do we need to get? Hmm. A setting sun that never sets, a dragon that cannot fly, and... A moon that only shines at night. I... Uh, where are we supposed to find crazy things like that? What? How did you get that so fast? Logic, huh? <laughs> Lucky guess more like. Okay, no cap. Oh, we can need him now. Free Nilu. It's gotcha time, baby. Go crazy. Bruh. Keep going. Watch me get a... My gambling currency. It's not working. Say. 
Oh, I lost me to you now. you do this, then this, and then... It's done! Let it go. <laughs> wow! Magic sure makes everything super convenient! Real. Yo. Yes, this is it. This is exactly the magic tonic we need. Grandpa Almond, could you take the concoction to the room underneath the tavern and place it next to the transparent bottle you found? I'll handle the rest. Of course. As you command, so it shall be done. <sighs> I still get nervous at times like this. It's just like when you step on stage, and you can tell that every single person's gaze is fixed right on you. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I can't tell you how great it is to have you by my side. Almost makes me feel like I've been blessed by the goddess of fate, too. Let's go. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Forest, please heed my words and accept my blessings. May your spring of wondrous magic never run dry. And may all who call you their home lead happy, fulfilling lives. So pretty! What a beautiful cavern! It matches the scenery of the forest perfectly! I was so surprised when it suddenly opened up like that. Just like a pop-up book! <sighs> I, I remember now. I remember everything. It was me. I was the one who went to the top of Constellation Metropole and witnessed the goddess's prophecy. The hero who shall save this world will descend upon the cliff of prophecy. The hero 
supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. Well, the prophecy really did have all the answers. You just forgot the first half. That's why I was waiting near the cliff of prophecy. <laughs> wonderful. Simply wonderful. There's still some hope left for old Armand after all. Is the Cliff of Prophecy that place with the huge mural? Because that is where we woke up, but we don't remember anything about how we got there. Also, we didn't get a change of clothes like Nilu. Are we definitely the heroes? If not you, then who else? Uh, you, you've already helped the fairy revitalize our forest. To us, that makes you heroes. Prophecy or not. adventuring even if it's just to figure out how we can get back to our world yep that's exactly right helping people we meet on the road is kind of our thing as expected the words of the goddess of prophecy always come true i'll come with you it can't hurt to have a magical fairy tag along right I suppose so. Heroes and fairies, dragons and new adventures. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a fairy tale by the second. Hmm. I would say your next stop should be Constellation Metropole. I don't understand why my mic is going on and off by itself. Astral Garden at the highest point in the city. Uh, maybe you can try seeking divine counsel from the goddess of prophecy herself. Are you leaving, Fairy Nilu? I'm afraid so. There are still other people who need my help. I won't go far, though, and I'll come back to visit the minute I have time to spare. So be a good girl, Potty Sara. And help out Grandpa Almond whenever you can, all right? Mm-hmm. Got it. Potty Sara will wait here for you. <laughs> oh, that's a good girl, Potty Sara. Ah, I almost forgot. If Constellation Metropole is where you're heading, you'll need to take the Maritime Express. I'll head to the station first thing tomorrow morning and wake up that lazy station master for you. Why don't you take a break for the rest of the day? You should savor the beautiful scenery of the forest before you go. Sounds great! Paimon definitely feels tired after being on the go for so long. There's a spot in the tavern with Paimon's name on it. Oh, sounds like someone's ready to order. Oh, well, if you're offering. Paimon will take a glass of Buell fruit tonic. Um, but hold the tonic. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Now we have to wait till the next day. Alright. We get a battle pass. Let's go. Look at all these guys. Can we enter the inside of it? Or no? I don't think so. You take the fruit stuff. So. Hold on. Doink. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> Alright. Let's check our map. How much stuff this area have we explored? Doesn't say. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure why my mic is picking up random sounds. Uh, hopefully it fixes itself out. I don't know why it's being like this. 
no. <laughs> Looks like I still need to spend more time fixing my OBS settings. The video looks fine. <laughs> that frog looks amazing. <laughs> mm. What the uh, <laughs> almost went into first person there. Frog leaves. Do it.
How do we get up there? stamina Probably catch up with him. Now there was. Where is this thing? It says it's in front, but I guess we can take a look at it after. Hello, Foggy.
What the heck? This is sick. Good luck, soldier. Convenient time. Now where was that exactly? <laughs> but was it here? No. Maybe I, I don't know where he wanted us to meet. No, oh, there you go. Maybe it's there. Oh boy. 
She flew off. <laughs> now, how do we catch up? Oh, got a lot of ops here. Come on, squirrel gang. Gotta help out. We can make it to there, right? Yeah, we're chilling. Boom. Oh, there was a tough part here. Oh. Let's go, game.
Come on, bud. Jump. Watch this. Awesome. Incredible. She flies fast. Slow down, guys. Take a look at the other stuff. Definitely some secrets here. Spot to hide a chest.
しかも Pick her up. Come on. Can you switch sides? Okay, what do you do? Alright, deck. Let's see, so we need to go with this one over. Push this Let's move them over. And we go up there, jump. Jump to us. Shouldn't be too hard. Push us up, and then boom.
<laughs> Where are we going? Sad and all right, huh? Luxurious, let's go. Take it. Go on, you have my approval. 
we have enough for another Gilan full? Yes, we do, baby. Gilan right here. Oh. <laughs> well, we've done one part of the four parts. Let's see. Like that. On this side, you get the Kiara. This one, you get Kiara's outfit. Let's see the drip. That's kind of dope. Okay. What about these? Let's collect 15. Hmm. And then this. These are the little missions. Gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first part. Isn't there anything else more? I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.